Hi everybody, I'm um, Maria from Cream of the Crop. I am a small scale butter producer in Cape Town and I get my butter from, um, I get my cream from a farmer in Robertson. I ferment it, it's made so the cream has been cultured and I use a um, sea salt from the west coast. And today I'm really excited to be here with you cook, the you cook market box and to cook a beautiful classic roast. So what we're going to cook is a beautiful Just chicken. Hold up, hold up. There's still a few people um, joining. Oh, okay, no problem. Um, what I can talk about maybe is what we're going to be cooking and then if you have any questions, if I'm going too fast, what I got inside the box, you can just write a comment and let me know. So what we're going to do today is a classic roast. So we're going to do like a herb butter, obviously. Here we go. This is the cultured butter we're going to be using. So a classic herb butter, lots of garlic. We're going to get underneath the skin, put a mignola inside. These are from Bergsum Farm that uh, you cook got. Beautiful. Then mix of grapefruit and nachi or clementine. And then also some beautiful leeks um, from Natural Organic, some beautiful herbs from Tunzi. And if you are vegetarian or if you are vegan, it's very easy to adapt because you can use a cauliflower. You can show the cauliflower, it's over here. And this is the cauliflower, also it's really nice and you can use it with olive oil and the same herbs and like lots of salt. And, we're gonna, um, and also if you are vegetarian, you can just do the cauliflower with the butter. Use the butter. Um, yeah, and then we're going to do leeks. Um, we're going to char grill the leeks. Um, these are from Natural Organic. And we're going to make a labneh, like a really quick labneh. We only have about 30 to 40 minutes. And um, it's from Gay's Dairy in um, Prince Albert. She has a beautiful Guernsey herd up there in the um, quite a dry environment, but she's managed to make it work in this beautiful farm. And then we are going to, so we're going to make the labneh, we're going to hang it. I hope you guys all have your cloths to make it. If you don't, if you're not going to make it today, if you're not going to make the roast today, try and make the labne a day or two in advance because then it become, become really nice and thick. You can almost spread it like a jam, like a really thick like peanut butter in a way. But today, we don't have a lot of time. We're going to learn the skills. And also to have leaves with yogurt is just a dream come true. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to make a really nice um, tomato and brown butter sauce to put over the sweet the little baked potatoes which we're going to do inside the oven so lots of butter classic roast and yeah let's get going so we're Could first going to hang on a couple of minutes so there's still a few people joining okay adrian van sale gives it's it a little way yeah <laughs> well, your cook adrian. says hi i'm drinking a cup of tea from your area nika uh, 14 underscore 7 says hi Maria. Oh, Dominica! Yes, girl! Okay, on fire. Chris so, Gibber says oh, go Maria. We're making vegan food for you next time. <laughs> Anya goes, yay! <laughs> okay, so we start. I think we can start. And if you join later, just send some of your questions through. So, this is a yogurt from Gay's Dairy. Um, we're going to just put in about half. I don't know. I want to keep some for breakfast because Seed and Circus had a gorge granola that I would really love to just get involved with. Um, you can season your labne now, your yogurt now for the labne, or you can just do it afterwards to your liking. So what we're going to do is um, grab the corners of your cloth. You can use the old pillowcase. That's clean. You can use like a your mom's curtain, your granny's curtain, it'll all work. It reduces quite a lot. I don't know if you can see slowly. The whey is going to drip through, and the whey is very nutritious. Don't throw it away. Haha. <laughs> um, in some people, they even make a drink, they make like a, um, a drink out of it. So you can mix it with like seasonal fruit and whey, or you can spray it on your trees outside, dilute it with some water. It's very good for mildew. If you have a vineyard, Adrian. All right. Isis dog goddess says, hey girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so now you can tie it up into the, tie up the corners. And 
then you can tie it directly into your cupboard, like a hook here, or find something, use like a window um, ledge, or like a window, like, um, what are they called? Window handle, or anything that you can find. Don't worry, if you don't have a hook, that's fine. No problem. So this is not going to make a lot, we're just three of us tonight, so we'll be fine. Hang it up there, nice and easy, or you can just hang it up by tying it through there. So now here it's just going to drip. You can leave this overnight, till the next day, if you're going to make the roast on Sunday, you can plan ahead and you can really just get going. Now what we're going to do is make the butter. Uh, the herb butter mix for the chicken. So this is cream of the crop, nice butter, fermented, cultured, and everybody always asks me what does cultured mean? So maybe I can tell you guys a bit about that. Um, so it just means adding a live culture to the milk or to the cream. Like cheese is also cultured to get a specific flavor. Give me examples of like what a culture. What a culture is. Yeah. Yeah, so you can get like indigenous cultures, which you find naturally in raw milk, but now with the very like corporate way of producing cheese and dairy, and to get a specific flavor of the cheese, everybody just buys this culture online. You can buy it in a shop in Denmark, they make it in the lab there, and then you can just buy it. So it's not like indigenous to the milk, it's not like local. So what I'm doing is trying to create and inoculate the natural live culture. So if you want to make a Parmesan, a gorgonzola, a camembert, you can buy these specific cultures in a packet and then you're always guaranteed success. But if you want to do natural cheese making, natural butter production, then you have to find the natural live cultures. Even like with natural wine, natural yeasts, you know, this is how people make the wine now these days. Great trend, very delicious. <laughs> Clara from Hill said delicious, <laughs> or delish, sorry. So now here we have some rosemary from Tunzi, beautiful organization, finding like working with small scale farmers around the city of Cape Town, predominantly in the Western Cape, or mainly I think only in the Western Cape. So that's a nice rosemary and you can really just use any herbs that you have on hand. If you have a garden, like a windowsill, um, just use those ones. If you don't have rosemary, well you will if you get the box. Just get it all involved. We've even got some fennel, fennel fronds. We're using the whole part of the fennel, not just the bulb, just, you know, you want to use everything, not waste anything. And we've actually got this beautiful, this here, wild harvest sesame salt from Luby. And she's made it using um, off cuts. So like maybe the tip like this, that people don't want to use necessarily, things that aren't so beautiful. So she's dried it out and mix it with like um, sesame. So we're gonna put that over our leeks and I think that is just gonna be a flavor town. And the parsley also you can use, get some parsley involved. You don't have to really stick to the rules and the regulations. Unless you have to wear a mask and you should. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a nice little herb mix. We're gonna grate some garlic in there. You can put some mustard in there. You can really just freestyle. There's some chili. Um, whatever your box has on offer, you can just... And how rough must you have to chop it up? Um, yeah, just not too bad. You still want to keep the flavour going, flavour flavor town. It can be as rough, like as... Some fine, some coarse, you know, they all just bring different flavours to the party. Pepper. And you can taste it also because, you know... Why not? And this is the uh, sea salt that I use from the west coast. Look at those pistils. You can still see the oils. And it's actually called snook soot because it's a mixture of um, fine and coarse. And when I make the butter, I really want to have like this. Uh, you can taste the salt pistils. Yeah. Did, did you tell everybody to put it in the oven, sir? Eh? Oh, yeah. you got to get your oven up. What temperature? I think 200. Okay. Yeah, get your oven on to 200 if you're cooking along. The Who's chicken, cooking along? Bring the chicken out the oven, room temperature, make sure your butter's soft. Yeah, yeah. Get your butter soft. D says good luck. Who? D. Oh, babe. Amy Tessa says it's a parsley party. <laughs> 
Mara, yeah. Mara Gelato. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. That is just what you want. Oh, garlic, also from the box. It's just everything you need inside the box. And also, if you have not ordered a box and you are just so excited about what we are doing here today, and you just want to get involved, you want to make your own labne, you want to get all the recipes, tips and tricks, you can still order your box before 10 p.m. tonight. So just have a go, get the box, join the family. We're great fun. And yeah, then you can cook along with us. Next week's another cook along. It's Women's Month. So you really just want to support those women, all of us. We need your help. Um, what, what other things were in the box that you can... Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got really gorgeous uh, Frankie Tennis sausages. Um, the uh, fish, fish, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice fish from green the... fish, let's say. Beautiful. I think it was a swordfish, actually. Beautiful swordfish that you can definitely make a really nice marinade. Uh, you cook SSS 10am tomorrow morning. Oh, 10am tomorrow morning. Sorry, guys. So you have the gun. To order your box, so get your box. Barbara May Thompson says they are cooking along. Oh, Fab! How's your butter? Okay, oh. cool. So, what's happening? Oh, a little oh, drinks break. Cup of <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cup of cheese. Okay, let's get this involved here. We are going to now put the butter underneath the chicken skin. If the chicken skin rip, like, don't worry, it's fine. If you fall, we will catch you. That's what my favorite yoga lady says, Adrienne. You can do her yoga online, it's fab. It's good stuff. So now you want to get it all underneath there. Really just get involved. All that butteriness, love it. Pull the skin and then just rub it in there. You really just want to get involved. Bring it all the way down. Get it around. Get it down and around there. You cook says they have over 10 women owned businesses in the box. Fantastic. The different See, products. Go treat yourself. That's what we're talking about. Businesses making a difference. That's what we need. All right. Now the butter's in there. Amy Tessa says it's a no stress procedure. Just keep it chilled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at that. Ew. Gorge. You want to get the butter all in there, all around. This is just flavor town. You can also slide a lemon in there. You can do what you want to do. This is really just up to you, using the flavors and the things that you have. Um, here we go. We have a roasting dish. I'm just going to put this in here. Pop a bit of oil in there. Olive oil, extra virgin. And get your chicken in there, son of a butcher chicken, free range chicken, grass, pasture raised, you know, all of the good things. Um, just on top. There we go. And now we're going to chop the onion just to nestle around the bird. And are you going to put anything inside? Oh, uh, yeah. We're actually going to use a mini today because that's what we got inside the box. And you can use a lemon, you can use a, uh, yeah, any nice citrus, it's really good to put inside. Also gives excellent flavor and helps with the cooking. You can just chop it up into four, five pieces, get it nestled around the side. That's a bit. This is going to make a lovely gravy too, you know. You can put some rosemary around the side. You can also leave the skin on the, the, Onion. the onions. Yeah, yeah sure. Burnt. No problem. Another piece of onion. You can just pop it in there. And then while it's cooking, we're just going to baste it, get it going. Some more olive oil. Some salt from the western coast. There we go. It's quite a lot. My favorite chef, uh, Samin, she always says, salt, you need it. Some pepper. I hope your ovens are on. Because this girl, Samantha Olafri says it looks delicious. Okay, now we, yeah, this is flavor town. Miniola. Wow, look at that. That is what you want every day. Okay, we're going to get that inside there just to impart the gorgeous flavor. 
And there you go. Oh, we can tie the legs up. No problem. And that's a string that you got from the leaks, yeah, no? Yeah, from the leaks. This was wrapped around here. So you just want to upscale, recycle, reuse, reduce, do all those things. So now you can tie this. Just, you know. Like that. Get it there. Nice to get it. This also helps with the cooking. Um, you should have a string because it's on your leaks. And it also just helps with like how it cooks and all of those things. Now you can score the. Okay. Catherine Carl Wright says multi use. Yeah. And wh why, why are you scoring the, the, uh, the leg? Just for the uh, purpose of cooking. So it just all cooks evenly. Just be confident. Confident slices. Watch your fingers. There you go. Perfect. That's Jeez. what you want. Nice knife, eh? Yeah, it's from Japan. No questions asked. There you go. All right. Now we can get that into the oven. 200 um, for about what, 40 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Legs towards the back because they have to take longer. Okay. All right. Exactly. So now we'll push on. Yeah. Now we have our potatoes. I'm just going to um, chop a few extra potatoes. We're going to put those inside the oven. So you want to get your baby potatoes that I've got over here. You can also turn on your, your stove, your pans, no? Mm, for the charred leaks. Yeah. Get it nice and smoking hot. Yeah, so we're going to get the pan onto the leaks. I've got a griddle pan at the back here. You can spin around there if you want to show the crowd. And can you use any pan or yeah, cast can, iron? Doesn't you can matter. use any pan, no problem. I'm just going to halve these potatoes because we want to have some nice crispy potatoes, they're going to roast really easily. And I've also got a um, sheet pan in the oven, the bottom there. So it's been getting nice and hot. So just going to drizzle some olive oil right over that. How's, it, how's the labne looking? No, we've lost quite a bit of weight there, which is fantastic. Absolutely stunning. So what we're also going to do with these potatoes, because we've got this beautiful funky Oma spice, if you haven't checked this out, this is just flavor town. Um, we've also got all the beautiful herbs that you can just use it all. And okay, here we go. I'm just going to use all these potatoes because they're just so beautiful. Look at that. Here we go. I'm going to toss them in some olive oil, funky Oma, maybe a little bit of rosemary. And then we're going to start charring our leeks. And making our um, butter. Burnt butter tomorrow. Yeah. So here's my hot uh, sheet pan. Mm, get in some olive oil. That's a nice olive oil. Fat is flavor. That's why I make the uh, butter. <laughs> um, there you go. That's the sound you want to hear. And then some funky omar. Get involved. Funk town. Yeah, we go. Um, I think we don't need to add salt because this has already got some salt inside and that looks just gorgeous. You could also add some more rosemary and herbs if you really wanted to, you know? Yeah, sure. Beautiful rosemary. Okay, we just need to get a nice plus. Add any herbs you want. It's good to use the product you get inside your box. Uh, you cook SA says it's a, a funky Oma is a wonderful surprise this week and you can buy some from Yappy Chef if you want some. Ah. It's a staple that everyone should have in their pantry. Yeah, it is gorge. Okay. It's actually really nice. It was the first time I had it today and I'm just really taken away, blown away. <laughs> so here we go, my griddle pan is nice and hot. I've got my leeks, I just cut them down the middle and I've washed them out because you don't want to, want to get all that grit out. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to slice them all the way down just to like, um, reduce the cooking time. And then we're also going to just put lemon over them, we're really just going to sizzle it up. Here you go. Do you put some oil in the pan or is it dry mm. Yeah, I don't know. 
Everyone wants to know what are your favorite kitchen tunes? <laughs> Where are the beats at? <laughs> Trying to impart some knowledge, Amy. <laughs> yeah, my favorite kitchen tunes. Oh, I'm not so good with the music selection. You just got Spotify, didn't it? Yeah. Fresh on the Spotify. All right. So we're gonna get that into a nice little sizzle. We can even just cut them in half because I see they don't really fit inside the pan there. Get those charring away, and then we can um, put them in nicely with the lapne at the end. Okay. So ideally, you want the pan to be like smoking hot, and then just yeah. chuck them in and have a nice, nice, nice char. But it's fine. We'll get Beautiful this. Char. This pan's quick. Right, there you go. And um, while this is going, potatoes are in. We can start with our um, tomato batter. So I've got some um, chopped tomatoes. Baby tomatoes that we got inside the box. And so you can also just do it in stages when you see that this is charring nicely. Add a bit of lemon over that and then do the next stage of your leeks. Um, so now what we're going to do is the tomato butter. I've got these cherry tomatoes inside the box. They're very nice. So we're going to put some olive oil in there. Get it nice and warm. Just have a check in on our leeks. See how they're doing. Getting some colour. Almost there. And our labneh, you can see this is all the way that is now coming out of the labneh, draining. So that's really nice, nutritious, got to give it a taste. If you don't like it, you can use it as a, on your garden. Like I said, very good for your garden. Put some salt in there, we can even use Fanti Oma. I don't think she's okay with my health <laughs> <laughs> um, um, How long can you, can you hang the labneh for? Like three days, even. It's the and ideal time. <coughs> When I also make the lamia, I hang it for like three days. But to make a quick version like this, it will become like Greek yogurt. It will just be... Just becomes thicker, no? Huh? Becomes thicker. I mean, yeah. It becomes nice and thick. Concentrates the flavors. So you get that beautiful... Oh, there we go. We're getting some char in these bad boys. So our pan should be nice and warm now with some olive oil. We'll do the um, tomato. <coughs> And we're going to just cook those, we're going to kind of crush them a little bit. Um, so here they are. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, we're going to add, we're going to add some salt to that. Salt for flavour. And when we touch that, when they get a bit softer, we can even um, squash them down a bit, and then we're going to add the rest of our butter. Lucky I didn't use it all. So only use half your butter when you are making your for your chicken. And when your chicken comes out, how do you know when it's ready? Um, yeah, you just want to test it to see if the liquid runs clear. So if it's still a bit red, like if it's pinkish, you can just give it a few more minutes. You don't want to overcook it. It's also really hard to overcook with that type of chicken because it's got so much butter inside. You can just see the butter like pop it. So it's quite forgiving. Yeah, it's quite forgiving. If it's your first roast chicken, give it a go. It's a nice, it's a nice place to start. We can squeeze some lemon or even this manila over our leeks. Oh, just nice. use what we have inside the box. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we're going to put our wild sesame salt I'll over. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Aaron says flavor town. Yeah, major flavor town. Um, and here we go with our tomatoes. Tomatoes, yeah. You just want to get these nice and golden. Leeks can really take a lot of heat. They can take a lot of char. They're quite sweet. They become even sweeter the more you cook them. We really want to get a nice flavor on them. Lots of char is flavor, you know? Lots of olive oil, lots of butter. Butter will come with our tomatoes on this side here. And then, yeah, we'll show you have a nice meal all together at the end here. Uh, Kirsty Gibbo 4. Mm. Uh, Kirst Gib Gibbo 4 says, Maria, looking fab, girl. Oh, sweet, man. She's my favorite. There we go. We've got some gorge color on these tomatoes. Yeah. 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 Yeah as a vegan, um, you can definitely do that. You just need to um, use your coconut oil if you got some bulgari. So you can definitely just put that inside there. And then drain it. You know, also just get a much quicker curd that you can use with your leeks and your potatoes. I think my potatoes are gonna, yeah, they're gonna be a while. But, no bother. They are getting crispy. Okay, so what's happening to tomatoes? Yeah, we're just going to squash them now a little bit. Squash tomato. You just want to get them when they're nice and soft, they don't escape from you so easily. Uh, Catherine reminds us that the, there was vegan butter in the box. Oh yeah, Maybe. plant butter. That is the one. So there's also another plant butter. My colleague, actually the owner, Kutzi, she is now running the plant butter business, which is fantastic. and this plant-based alternative to butter and if you are missing butter as a vegan this is for you it's got the um zest it's got the like lactic flavor it's got the lots of salt it's made with raw apple cider vinegar and you also add salt from the west coast in that eh? yeah definitely my favorite salt um so here we go look at these leeks you just really want to get that char if you think they are done, take them further. They can handle it. But they're almost done. Our potatoes might be a bit on the delay. That's no problem. Get our tomatoes. You can see they're getting nice and crushed here. I think I'm just going to swap the heat with the tomato for the leeks. Chris says it's the, the best plant butter. Yeah. Hands down. Oh, sweet man. What a hand. That is good. So look at these, this is exactly what you want. Give them a nice squash. You can have, if you have chili in your box, if you have chili at home, just give it a little dice. This is a dry chili I have, it's very strong. Nice and spicy, you can also add that in. You can even add funky oma into this. <laughs> <laughs> And for those who are just joining, um, the chicken mm. is in the oven, uh, the potatoes are also roasting, uh, the, the leeks are, being, are charring, the tomato butter is getting all jammy and thick, it's getting there. Um, and the video, it will be posted on YouCook, so you can go check it out later. Yeah, in case you missed a few steps. Oh, hydration. Hmm. Put a mini in there, but I'm just going to give it a bit of a squeeze. Sunny, that's what you want. And again, here over the leeks. Uh, Catherine wants to know if the recipe is online. The recipe is online, so if you're falling behind, if you're watching Netflix, if you want to recap, if you want to make this for Sunday for your mother, it is Women's Month. Everybody, take you know, well, those women. Then you can definitely go online, check out the recipes, and this is what you want. This is butter flavor. Now we're going to cook this butter till it becomes like a brown, 
butter. And it gets and all the, natty and mm, packed full the, of flavour. Yeah. When the milk proteins start to caramelise, they start to stick to the bottom of the pan. It is just where you want to be. Nice. So we're going to give that a second to just get nice and... Uh, this, is Nic this recipe is actually from Nicholas. Um, what a great human. He just told me about it. He said, I'm going to give it a go. Top tips from a great chef. You and then, leaks. Yeah. Oh, you cookers just posted a link to the recipes. Uh, stunning. So they can just all find it online. Yeah. On the blog too. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to check in our potatoes, see how they're going. They are small, so they shouldn't take too long. Mm, maybe we should... Uh, yeah, not sure. <laughs> 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 Look at the, the, huh? little stickage. Yeah, they, they are getting there. And when you rough them up like that, mm. it creates extra surface area which For goes roasting. crunchy later. Yeah. yeah. We might, we can select some good ones for the. <laughs> Let's actually, what we've done is to um, increase the experience of the video. We have pre made a chicken. Are you going to pop that in? Yeah, we're just going to give it a freshen <coughs> up. Gorgeous bird. Just so you can see at the end because it yeah. can't be with you when the, throughout the whole roast. No, it couldn't have. It was uh, roasted without you. So now we can actually have a look at our love net. Uh, you Cook Essay is also, I uh, said that the, the, the link is about your butter and um, mm. your recipes. Oh, amazing. So they can also find that, I'm sure, on your cream of the crop on Instagram. Yes. Um, oh, and it's fantastic to be able to put your products and to, to how you could support your a small business, to elevate them to the next level, to create the access, to give them the space to grow. This is the platform that we need as a small business owner. This is what I can say for, I think, for everybody. I know Leah was on last week, she's also wonderful to jams, and this is the opportunity that people like us need, entrepreneurs, the yeah. space and the platform. So here you go, look at that. Brown butter, this is just on the next level. And that's what makes you cook so unique, that they really support yeah. the small scale. Yes, exactly. And they find the products that you probably wouldn't be able to find as a consumer in Cape Town in your classic shop. Okay, so um, what are you doing now? I'm going to keep the way, so I told OG to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to throw it away. Um, so here we have a, it's a very quick lovely. So it's only reduced for a few minutes, but... So, like you said earlier, a day or two, yeah, perfect. Yeah, exactly. You can turn on the heat on them. Yeah, so I'm going to turn those <laughs> off, so I think those are done. Um, um, we're going to check on our bird inside the oven now. And here you can slowly start to see this is what it'll become like. Much thicker, much more like spoonable. And so the yogurt is quite thin in general, which is beautiful for granola. But um, for a lavender, you want a much thicker consistency. Mm, yeah. And that will happen over time. Yeah, um, over time. So we're going to add some salt to that just to create the flavor. And you can see around the edges, it starts to get really nice and thick. If you're making this at home, there you go, look at that. That's what you want. Really nice, that's a thick, mm, delicious. This is also how you preserve milk, by extracting the liquid, like with butter, like with cheese. These are all ancient ways of preserving milk, which we, can, we should all learn. It's a beautiful method. Look at that, you can even see those lumps. Oh my goodness, just put a bit of pepper, put this to the side, oh. and we're gonna get our leeks. Okay, we're plating. Mm, we can plate this so long. And then get out our bird. Look at those leeks. There they are. Crispy chard leeks with lovely. I mean, what else do you want? You can pop it now. Wow. Mm. Oh. Okay. We're going to check and see if our spuds are ready. This is our... This is the butter. Are you going to do that last? Yeah, I think so. And don't forget the wild sesame salt. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's do that now. Okay, last. Nice. Well, sesame salt from Ruby. 
Flavor town. There we go. Give it a good sprinkle over there. Oh my gosh, you don't want to waste this. Get it back in. Yeah. <laughs> okay, beautiful. And um, your chicken, this is the one we made earlier. It is the way that we made the previous one. Look at those two beauties. Oh, uh, sorry, just. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, keep those potatoes in there for a little bit longer. Um, we can cut this string off here. Can you see? Yeah. A little bit dark. Okay, that's better. Okay. So how? how so if so when it's when you take it out the oven, how, how would you typically check? Typically yeah, you check want to if check it's, if it's loose here, you know, that it just slides off the bone. And then also the drippings afterwards, you can you, you can mm. make a nice gravy with. Um, yeah, exactly. Cool. Okay. Strong so well, you can just carve it here. <laughs> yeah, there carve, you go. There you go. It's carve a nice piece. Mm. Look at that. That's what you want? Can you bring my plate for me? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Then look at all those herbs there underneath the skin. Crispy skin. If you want, you can definitely just um, reduce that sauce there. I can bring it into the light for you guys. Yeah, just bring it, yeah. Bring it over yeah. here so we can have a proper examination. Yeah. You can definitely just look at all that herb underneath the skin. That is just flavor town. You can grab some of your potatoes. Mmm. <laughs> some of your potatoes. There you okay. go. You have a nice crisp. Funky Oma has really done the job here. Yeah. Packed from the seasoning. Yeah. You can also roast your potatoes long if you want them to be more crispy. Yeah, you can. These are nice and al dente. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2020, there are no rules. <laughs> um, there you go. Pop that in there. I'm going to give these back in the oven for a second. Oh, what's wrong? And then we can just use our really nice burnt butter tomato sauce everywhere. Look at that nice caramelization. It's not burnt. Look at that. Golden nectar. And then you can just put those over your potatoes. Beautiful. Cool. You can patent this. That is just flavor town. So chop some fresh parsley if you want. You can really just take it home. Let me just chop some fresh parsley. Do a squeeze of lemon. And yeah, folks, that's a lovely midday roast. I um, hope you enjoyed cooking along with us. I'm actually just so thrilled to do it with you, Cook. The opportunity was fantastic. Aaron says so, yum. I wonder what he's eating out there in the Swatland. Get your herbs in, get your flavor, squeeze in a bit of lemon over the leaves. And there you have it, folks. A gorgeous. Um, midday roast thank you so much for joining us and remember to order your boxes if you haven't ordered a box yet go order a box because look at all the things you can do and we haven't even touched the half of it it was so lovely to have you all here and have a good evening